Yo, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a little bit different as it's not my typical video as like Alexa stuff, but I had the opportunity to have a sponsorship with Shine Armor. So Shine Armor is a detail company and they reached out to me saying they wanted me to review and try their product. Even though I'm being sponsored by them, I can be completely biased, they said. They said that as long as it's you know, good product and everything, you can say whatever you want about it. So I'm like, shoot, yeah, I want it. Because I don't like products that, or sponsorships that, for example, told me I have to lie and talk about how good they are. No. Shine Armor said I can be as truthful as I want and as not biased as I am. So, Shine Armor sent me their graphene ceramic spray to try out. So, I'm not exactly too sure if it's like more of a ceramic wax or similar to the Adam's Advanced Cer uh, Graphene Ceramic Spray. Because you know what ceramic wax is, they only last about maybe six months to a year at most. And usually it's a spray on and wipe off kind of method. But on the instructions, it says that to let it sit for about one or two minutes and before buffing off, which is like the um, flashing time. And then it says let four hours to cure. So I'm kind of going on the side of where it's like Adam's advanced graphene coating, but I never use Ad advanced, uh, Adam's advanced graphene ceramic spray. So I, mean, I don't know how to compare it with, but I do like, if it's not a ceramic wax, I will say I will like the graphene ceramic spray. Now, this is what it says on the instructions. So to use, you want to spray the graphene ceramic spray into a microfiber towel, wipe the product onto the paint, allowing the surface to be fully covered, allow the product to sit for one or two minutes, buff to a high shine with a microfiber towel, and allow four hours to cure before exposing to elements. Now, what I'm probably going to do is spray it directly onto the car because, in my opinion, I kind of like that better than spraying it on a microfiber towel. That's just me. So, yeah. So, we're actually going to do my car instead because I didn't realize that time we're actually filming this and took a while that my sealant went away. So, we're going to do my car instead. And my car has a PPF on it, so it has some beating. My car has nothing, so it's no beating at all. So, it looks a lot better this way. Now that ceramic coat is going bad, I would say. It's not as good no more. And I wasn't really happy how Car Pro did their C Quartz 3.0 ceramic coat anyways. So I was leaning more towards Adams, but I want to try the Moths Evo by Gion. That might be my next ceramic coat I'm going to do. But as you guys can tell, I'm working on the wide body. So it's kind of pointless to protect the car how it's getting chopped up into pieces and sparks are flying everywhere. So it's kind of pointless. So. My wife's car needs actually a coat really bad. I just didn't have time to ceramic coat it and we don't have a garage to store it since we're in an apartment. We're about to move so who knows when this video is going to come out and it's raining so I can't really apply this to her car and she's at work. So I'm going to be stitching a bunch of stuff together so I hope it looks pretty cool. But this is what they say about their spray. Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray is a highly concentrated, simple to use DIY ceramic coating that is ready to go out of the box. It is perfect on its own or as an added layer of protection for your current ceramic, uh, ceramic coating. This ceramic graphene ceramic spray has extremely powerful hydro, hydrophobic properties that deeply enhances your shine with an easy spray and white process that you come to expect with Shine Armor. So oh, the features are it helps defend water spottings, works to protect against bugs, saps, and droplings, Less prone to scratches during the wash process, more depth and clarity on or more depth and clarity on the surface, and easy to apply. Of course, labels always deceiving, so I can't really say how is it. But this is me from the past, so in the future I'll probably resume the clip. But I don't know. So 
I guess I'll let, I'll let Future Me figure out how it is. <laughs> so I'm assuming this spray is kind of similar, like I said earlier, to the Adams Graphene Ceramic Spray, or even like the Car Pros Reload, which I have on my car currently. Since it's pretty much like a spray sealant more than a ceramic coat, because of course, you know, ceramic coats are always... It takes a long time to polish the car, and it's like two to three year protection. This one doesn't say how long it's going to protect it for, but only time will tell. So, that's it for this video clip thing. I'll check in. Also, get merch. This is a test piece, so it's not, it doesn't look as good, but get merch. Link in description. The best part about this stuff is because it's a ceramic spray, not really like a wax, so there's no wax in it. It has like all SI2 properties, whatever sort of property it is. So I can actually apply it to my existing ceramic coat that I have, which I have on my windshield. So, and my roof. <laughs> so, it helped rejuvenate it because, you know, as you guys know, windshield uh, coats don't last long because the wiper blades end up turning it down a little bit. So, this will help keep it a little alive. So, I'm going to put that on too. It's nice. Also, I like how the push is like off. Well, like, it's off and the other side's like, it's on. It's just a push button instead of turning knobs and stuff. So that's, that's pretty cool. Also, my plan failed. You know how... I had the blue line through it, right? Yeah, so compare the before and after. Because before, it was like my trunk. Let me show you how my trunk looks like. So I don't know if I can see it, but... See, it's not, just not really sitting there. It's not really beating. It's just kind of sitting on the paint. See, it's up there. Kind of hard to see. This is kind of how it was on my hood before I started coating it. That's why I want to do the before and after, but for some reason now, like, this is the side that I protected. Looks really good on the other side it's the same so I don't know I don't know it's because the mist went onto the other side as well but now they're both the same see if I put all of it on they'd be exactly the same now of course the left side has probably has more B that's where I actually applied it but I don't know it sucks I did that tape thing so y'all can compare, but pointless now since for some reason it's the same. So I don't know if the mist just went over there because I sprayed it on, directly on the paint, which they said spray it on the towel, but I sprayed it directly on the hood, so I don't know if that's to do like affect anything, but that's pretty cool how it goes like just the mist alone protects it. That's pretty damn cool. So I'm definitely gonna try to use this for maybe next year car show or like when I need to protect it because this, that's pretty cool. So Regular product, yeah, I'll say so. It works. But again, locktivity, can't say. Yeah, I'll make an update video if y'all are interested in that. So, overall, great product. Alright, thanks again, Shine Iron, for sponsoring this video. Again, even though I'm sponsored by them, everything is, I guess, like, to my own thoughts. Like, I don't have to lie about the product. It's actually pretty dang good. So, check them out. Use my code again, JN20. Take 20% on your order, so thank you again, Shine Armor, for sponsoring this video and check them out if you're not believing in yourself. So it's only like 15 bucks. Use my code too, save you some time.